Hey guys, thank you so much to all the people that have donated so far for the cause that we have as a group that we're helping the unfinished churches in Kenya so they can be completed, so they can commence services as well. Anyone that wishes to donate, the link is below in the description. Now today what I'm going to speak about is a miracle that is absolutely amazing. Some of you might not have heard, but it's the Arctiston Fos, which is the uncreated light. For those that do remember, I've got it in my video number 27, for those that want to listen to it. It is in Mount Tabor, when the transfiguration of Jesus Christ took place, and he was shining of light. So that light that shone from Jesus Christ, that is the uncreated light. Now, in the footage I have here today that I want to show you, we have actually got footage of this uncreated light caught on camera. Guys, it's absolutely amazing, okay? I need to give credit to the Orthodox Hermit and also to the real Lord and God for the footage that um, I obtained. Thank you so much. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the first part and I'm going to do the voiceover so you can understand each situation, what happens with this uncreated light. As you can all see, that is the Actiston Force, the uncreated light during the Holy Baptism. Look at that, guys. And this miracle happened in the United States of America in New Mexico, where two Catholics became Orthodox, a man and a woman. They both had the chance to either get baptized fully or just get chrismated. The woman decided to get fully baptized. Now, when these photos got developed, the priest got contacted. His name was Father Ioannis Bethencourt of the Holy Trinity Orthodox Church in Santa Fe, New Mexico. He says that he's the priest in the center of the pictures and he had just completed three baptisms and was finishing the chrismations. The short young woman at the left-hand side of the picture, not the one in bright light, was actually a convert from Judaism and her father was a rabbi. A rabbi is a Jewish teacher and he's the one that took the pictures. So that's how the priest knows that the photos couldn't have been touched up in any way, especially coming from a Jewish rabbi. How amazing was that? The uncreated light during a holy baptism. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is a photo that was taken in the holy altar at a Russian Orthodox church. And it's the uncreated light around the Holy Communion. For those that remember, I've got video 21 where we had the great blessing from God to have the Holy Spirit form in the form of a dove in the Holy, in the holy Communion. For those that haven't seen it, video 21. Now what we're going to see is the uncreated light. And here we see the uncreated light around the Holy Communion. This is at a Russian Orthodox Church. It's amazing. That's why the Holy Communion changes into the body and blood of Christ through the Holy Spirit. How amazing was that footage of the uncreated light around the chalice, the Holy Communion? Guys, it's amazing. And that is why, as I said in video number 12, the bread and wine through divine intervention, it becomes the body and blood of Christ. Now, the very, very last video I'm going to show you now. Guys, what can I say? This has been stated by even saints. A lot of people that visited saints where they said that they looked at their face and it was just glowing. And that's the uncreated light. Now, in this footage, there's a Georgian orthodox priest and at the very end of the service for those that have stayed um to the end of the service the priest prays the last um uh if yes the wish um it wishes upon the people okay the blessings and with the cross people walk up and they kiss his hand and the cross now when we kiss his hand and the cross we receive a blessing okay Despite some people thinking, oh, why should I kiss someone else's hand? That is wrong. Okay. We don't have to. 
But if we do, look at the blessing we receive. Look at this Georgian priest during that very last moment that he blesses people. Enjoy. Now look at the uncreated light on his cross and on his beard and on his holy vestment. And you will see how it's going to get more and more bright. Look at this, guys. He's engulfed in the uncreated light. And every time someone kisses his hand and the holy cross, he's blessing him also with holy water. That uncreated light will come upon us as well. Look at the blessing we receive. Now, guys, how amazing was that footage at the end? That video of him blessing, it was eight minutes long. So I just cropped the main parts just to get an idea. But did you see that light, the uncreated light illuminating? People couldn't see that. And that's the thing. Our spiritual eyes get to see it, the ones that do see it. But it was lucky enough, not lucky. Sorry, I shouldn't use that word. We were blessed to be able to have that and to show us the uncreated light, how our beautiful priests have got a job to do for our Lord. Okay. And look at the blessing we get in turn. Now, before I let you go, I'm going to show you, there's two photos I'm going to show you. This photo was taken in Australia, where the priest's wife, the presbytera, took a photo of inside the church. And while she took that photo, later on she saw that there was a believer that was leaning over, kissing the holy icon, and right next to the believer, there's the uncreated light. It's like an angelic form right next to her. On the 15th of August in a Russian Orthodox church, here we can see the uncreated light on the Epitaphio of Virgin Mary. And please, if you can open your heart and do a charitable deed for the love of God and may your reward be in heaven, please help the charity for these poor souls in Kenya that need a church as well. Look what happens in church. Let them experience the, the divine grace of God. So thank you once again. God bless you. And I pray for you morning and night. Take care.